This is our new Team Machine SLR01 with disc brakes and uh, this is a bike that is made for racing. It's clearly a sporty, aggressive seating position. It's stiff, it's light, but at the same time it's compliant. What we use um, to develop this frame is basically a, a technology that's called ACE, which uh, basically is a simulation program, but not a traditional one as we, as we know it. But uh, it takes into account tube diameters, tube shapes, and layup. Um, so actually it uh, allows for very, very complex calculations. And we have a cooperation there with the um, University of Zurich, where we have uh, access to their supercomputers to develop um, this frame shape. That allowed us actually to come up with a disc frame that is um, just 18 grams heavier than our previous rim brake frame. So actually a super, super light disc uh, frame platform um, that we are looking here at. Apart from all the functions, so compliance, stiffness and lightweight of the frame, we also wanted to use the advantage that uh, disc brakes give us in terms of the design to integrate even more cables. So if you look at this bike, apart from a couple of exposed positions, you aren't seeing any cables. It's all fully integrated into the frame. And uh, it's basically coming from a custom stem that we developed, custom solution to go with the cables along the fork shaft and uh, distribute the cables into in the frame. What uh, is also um, pretty special about the frame is that uh, as a part of the calculation tool, the frame is heavily asymmetric. So or especially you can see it at the fork. So obviously we have forces that are uh, in, induced by the disc brake into the fork shaft. That means this side is really um, strong and oversized. And on the other side, the other fork shaft is much thinner. Um, so this is to accommodate the loads, but at the same time, keep the riding feel and the comfort of the fork um, for, the, for the rider. And then actually there's a couple of uh, small solutions that we also integrated into the frame. So we have a C-post clamp that is uh, completely indicated here. There's normally a cover on so that you uh, can't see any uh, surface difference. Uh, that means we have a little bit of a longer seat tube uh, or a seat post that uh, is also much better for the flexibility and the comfort on the saddle. And then the uh, DIT unit, um, which was formerly below the stem and still looked a little bit cluttered, uh, is now completely integrated into the frame and makes for a really sleek look. And then uh, I guess yeah, the discussion of uh, disc brakes on the road is, uh, is still going on, but um, yeah, the advantages of the dozing and, uh, and uh, yeah, weatherproofness of disc brakes is also something that we wanted to accom accommodate. And yeah, that's just the, in short, the new Team Machine SLR. Here we are looking at the Team Machine SLR 01 rim. Also completely new frame, um, developed with our ACE technology. So super lightweight setup, stiff, compliant and light. Um, we don't want to tell people which kind of braking they need to buy. So that's why we, we developed the two frames completely equally, but separated from each other to really deliver the maximum of performance to our uh, race oriented customer. So yeah, we are looking here at the rim brake version. What is uh, new? is basically that you have uh, the direct mount disc brakes integrated uh, from Shimano. Direct mount is a little bit of a stiffer braking surface and um, it also um, asks us basically to develop a complete new frame and fork setup to accommodate the loads that you have now with the direct mount brakes. And, uh, and uh, basically what is also a little bit different to the disc bike is that we have a specific VMC four, uh, uh, stem that we are using there, which is not featuring the integrated uh, cables, but still um, really nicely integrating into the design of the bike um, being, being sleek. What you look at here is a, is a device mount, as we call it. So there's a possibility to nicely integrate into the stem your uh, Garmin or whatever you need uh, for your right uh, device. And also there's a mount for a GoPro camera if you want to film where you're riding and what you're riding. There's an easy mount um, on this available. So that's the new Team Machine SLR 01 rim.
And by the way, the bike that is going to be raced by Richie Port at the Tour de France from next Saturday on. Good luck, Richie.